So we waited a little while. Now it's time to pull out the first part. It's quite warm. Yeah, we have to be really careful because it's hot. Actually, it's, it is, yes. So. Let's see. Moment of truth. I know. This is it. This is our first one. It sounds tacky. It's pretty tight. That's okay. It seems to be a little bit more stuck. How is it? Does that look right? It's hard to know. I have no idea. The team now has to peel the excess material off without damaging any of the main parts in the center. While Yandre tries to figure out the best approach by hand, Cornell searches for other methods of removal. Oh, that. That's <coughs> that right side, there, that right there. Started? Get under it, try to get under it. Okay, I think we're getting there, we're getting there. Those turn out pretty good. Look at those holes. That's very Ouch. exact. It hurts. Hot. All right. I think let's tell Mike we're done. What do you think? We're good. We dropped the parts off on the table. This was our first batch. After this, the finisher comes by, picks these up, cleans them up, and we're gonna put them in the oven for six hours. The material basically has to cure. The best way I can describe it is sort of like nail polish, shellac nail polish, where you put it under a light. With this material, it's heat treated. So you put it in heat, and it gets harder and harder and harder until the material is to the exact consistency that it's supposed to be. Okay. Well said. So let's go get some more material. Let's get you suited up. Yep. And we're going to pour the next batch. Thanks to Mike, we now know how the molding process works. To complete the rest of the parts for the work order, it's now up to Yandre and Cornell to complete these time-based tasks with no more mistakes. The first step is to gather the hot material with the hardener. Step two is where we add the coloring and degasser. Remember, once the material hits the bucket, the team only has 30 seconds to get the material into the mixer. Okay, start. This one? No. This one. It's impossible to see. <laughs> I just want to put it on the record that this is the start button right here. Can't even read it. <laughs> but I think we made it in time, so our material quality is going to be good. That's the biggest thing. Now it's going to do this for a little bit. Then we have another two and a half minutes to pour it, and then the time-based stuff is complete. So then we should be out of the woods. The team worked together to complete the rest of the pours for the work order, surprisingly, without making any more mistakes. Once they are done, the team will head over to clean the parts and prep them for the oven. So this portion of the process was pretty stressful. We had to mix the material, we had to add the color, we had to add several other components to the material to harden and, and cure it. And we had to do all of that within a 30 second time frame. Then we had to move it to the mixer and pour it in in another two minutes and 30 seconds. So it was really quite on a tight deadline and I found that to be pretty stressful. And our first run was pretty rough. Yes, it was. A uh, couple mistakes later, I think we finally got the process down. Uh, and then after that, it seemed to go smoothly. Yeah, I think we only had to scrap probably two batches of material. So. Yandre and Cornell finally finished pouring all the parts required for the work order, and now it's time to clean the parts. That's where we meet Paul, who was in the middle of teaching the team how to use the dermal tool. Yeah. What we're really going to do is just uh, pop the holes, okay. go lightly around the the uh, sides of it, that, that would probably be fine, you know, like that. Yeah, perfect. Okay. And so. Cornell starts on the first part. She is using the Dremel tool to clean up any access mold from the edges of the part. She must be very careful not to apply too much pressure, otherwise she could damage the part and be forced to repour the mold. Thankfully, the team catches on to this process very quickly. All right. <laughs> Once the team is done with the parts, 
they will be ready to go into the oven to complete the curing process. All right, Paul, which one is it? Who's the champ? This one. Oh, oh. man. <laughs> and he had a little extra coaching, so. All right, so what's next, Paul, to the oven? Yeah, All right, to the oven. Okay. These parts have a six hour cure process, so now that they're in the oven, they're gonna stay in there for another six hours and then they'll be ready to cool and ship. We are back and ready to take our parts out of the oven. They've spent some time curing and now we're gonna bring them to Eric to inspect them. So Eric, can you tell us a little bit about what your role is here? Yeah, I work in the quality control department here at Omni and I usually check the parts after they come out of the oven. And we put some parts in here right now. Let's take a look at them, see how they look. All, All right. right. How do they look? I think they look good. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I do. I get the print here to make sure that we made the part to the customer specification. Okay. Make sure that the color is what they want. It's red, so we got that right. Okay. Uh, look got at that right. Woo! Look at some of the measurements here. Sometimes I check the dimensions. Um, make sure there's no holes or voids in them. Um, there's an example of a part here with a big void in it. Okay. It looks something like that, but on a smaller scale. Oh, okay. And so you got to redo it, or no? We can we can fill it in with material, and once it gets hard, we can sand it down. That way, we can save the part. Okay. Okay. Wow. So yeah, and then also we check the hardness of the part. So there's a it's called 75D. That's just the hardness of it. Okay. So we take our scale here, just kind of roll it onto the part. So we didn't mess it up. Oh, you did. You did fine. Okay. Yes. All right. It's hard to mess this part up right here. <laughs> yeah. Not exactly. <laughs> All right, Eric. So what's the next step now that you've checked out our part? The next step would be once the part cools down and everything's been inspected, we'll box it up over here and ship it to the customer. Perfect. Sweet. Sounds like we're done. We're done. All right, All right. Well, thanks for your help. All right, thank you. Thanks. The team successfully completes the work order and proudly shows off the fruits of their labor. Since these parts pass Eric's quality assurance test, the parts can now be shipped off to the customer. Well, we're all done here at Omni, and man, we are tired. It was a, it was a long day. We thought it looked pretty easy when those guys were doing it, but they must be real experts because when we got in there, there's a lot to remember, and you have to get it exactly right every time. So, what did you think? Yeah, it was challenging. I thought it was fun. It was a good challenge. So, hard work, but we had a lot of fun doing it together. Yeah. So, thanks for joining us on American Made. See you guys next time. Hey, thank you for watching. American Made is brought to you by Sigma Nest Software. Nest it the best. If you want your shop to feature in one of our episodes, click on the link below in the description. And if you want to make sure you don't miss an episode, go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Perfect. Nailed it. Except I like made really cheesed up at the end. That's like fine. this. Yeah, that'd be good. <laughs>